richtig. Welcome. Let's begin by dragging the pictures to the timeline. After that, click on the duration icon above the timeline and change it to seven seconds for each picture. Now, click on the first picture, then select the crop icon above the timeline. Choose the 16-9 aspect ratio, then select pan and zoom above. Adjust the grid as shown, then click the switch icon at the bottom right corner to set the start and end positions. Finally, click apply. Again, click on the first picture, then go up to scale it down to 60. After that, scroll down and apply the drop shadow as shown. Furthermore, go to Effects, search for the border effect and drag it down. Then click on the picture, go up to Effects and reduce the border size to one. Now, right click on the first picture and select Copy Effect. Then highlight the other pictures, right click and choose Paste Effect. When you click on each picture, you will notice the changes. Click on the first picture, go up to select basic and apply a keyframe to transform. Then scale up to 160, type minus 30 in both position X and position Y and scroll down to rotate to enter minus 15. Now move the playhead to the end then go up to apply a keyframe to transform. Scale down to 60, type minus 20 in position X and zero in position Y. After that, scroll down and restore rotate to zero. For the second picture, click on it, then go up to apply a keyframe to transform. Leave the scale at 60, type minus 20 in position X and leave position Y and rotate at zero. Now. Move the playhead to the end, then go up to apply a keyframe to transform. Scale up to 160, type minus 30 in both position X and position Y, then scroll down to rotate and enter minus 15 as shown. Now, go to the first picture and place the cursor on the keyframe point. Then right click to select all keyframes and right click again to copy the keyframes. After that, go to the third and fifth pictures, right click and paste the keyframes as shown. Now, go to the second picture and place the cursor on the keyframe point. Then, right click to select all keyframes and right click again to copy the keyframes. After that, go to the fourth and sixth pictures, right click and paste the keyframes as shown. Now go to transition search for Morph Transition and apply it between the pictures at intervals as shown below. Again, go back to Transition, search for Box Turn Transition. You will see both right and left options. Apply Box Turn Right first, then Box Turn Left as shown on the timeline. Now let Preview. Now, go to Effects, search for Interwoven Effect, and drag it down. Extend it to match the duration below. Then click on it and go up to adjust the effect source width to 0.25. Set the background luminance to minus 50 and scroll down to reduce its opacity to 80, as shown. Again, go back to Effects, search for Enlarge Effect, and drag it down. Extend it to match the duration below as shown. 
Go back to Effects, search for App Full Effect, and drag it down. Extend it to match the duration below. Then click on it and reduce its opacity to 30 as shown. Preview the result. After previewing, I decided to change the interwoven effect background color to red. So I clicked on the interwoven effect on the timeline, went up and chose red for the background color. Then I previewed the result. Thank you for watching. You are awesome. The template link for this tutorial is in the description. Have a great day.